think it's uh, live. Uh, Zoom, can you hear us? I think so. I asking Zoom if she can hear us. Ah, okay. Can you hear us? So it's very hard to type. Mm -hmm. uh, shall I hit return? Hit yeah. return first, or just yeah. continue typing? Hi, Stan. Oh, no. Hi, Zen. How are you? Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So safe pose. Oh, bonjour, Moon. Oh, hello, Moon. We hello, miss you. Zeke. Oh, fantastic. Oh, wait. Well, so, hi, um, Miss Chili. <laughs> yeah. Do you, can you hear us? Okay. Uh, uh, the sound and everything because yeah. we're not using any microphone. Yeah. Cool. How are you guys all? So, so nice of our friends in Singapore, Zoom uh, and Stan and Ben. Oh, hello, love. Stan and Ben, both of them from Norway. Hi. Okay. Uh, maybe we might change our plan to go Norway. You never know with <laughs> second, second yeah. wave Corona being so bad. Uh, we don't know. We look so dark, eh? Yeah, uh, Bonjour Mon in France. Uh, how is the uh, lockdown in France? It's happening oh, yeah. now. Oh, yeah, how's France? Yeah, and Ezekiel, hello, Miss Chili from Singapore. Good to see you last night on uh, your live uh, Facebook. Yes. Was it IG? Yeah. How was the Halloween? <laughs> okay, um, do you want to start? Start ready. Okay. Um, <laughs> why are we doing this IG? Just to catch up and say hello to everyone. Um, and then. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, maybe to talk more about our plans. It keeps changing every yeah. day. And we have a few plan A, plan B. Plan C, of plan course, D. Plan C, D, E, F, G has mm. gone down a bin. Uh, because we're supposed to be in Bulgaria going to Turkey. Uh, by now, but mm. that plan is gone. Um, so now our plan A. Shall we talk about our plan first? I'll uh, talk about where we are. Yeah, you look at the any questions that yeah. come along. So plan <laughs> A, we're thinking of going to Greece now, mm. because um, okay, as everyone away in Albania, uh, Albania is in the Balkans. Uh, and it, we can go to Italy or we can also go to Greece. Greece, do you, oh yeah, so, so, either uh, direction, yeah, either direction. Uh, but the whole idea of going back, uh, oh. driving back to Malaysia is still there. Uh, yeah. it, now the route is becoming a little bit more complicated, so we need plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, so one of the plans you're saying we go okay Greece. so uh, now top of our plan top one uh, plan is to take the COVID test go to Greece 
to spend December, January, February in Greece. After that, by spring, first March, we go to Bulgaria and Turkey. Then in Turkey, we wait for Georgia border to open. Hopefully it's open um, because apparently vaccine and uh, a good COVID test fast one uh, is going to be out by next year. So if Georgia is open, <coughs> we go to Georgia and apply for our Russian visa, go to Russia and then Kazakhstan, Mongolia, China, Laos, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore. So provided all these borders are open also. That's top plan. Um, now why Greece instead of um, Montenegro or Croatia? Now the thing is if we're heading back home, Greece is nearer. But more importantly, we check out the COVID test. Um, from here to go Montenegro and Croatia, we need to take a test to reach Croatia within 48 hours. Now to do that, and it's from the time you take the swap test. So if, if I take the test on Monday, my result is out in 24 hours, Tuesday, which means I already lost 24 hours. By Wednesday, within 24 hours, I need to cross two borders, Montenegro and then Croatia. And driving Vanga along the coast is not easy. It, it, it's not that fast. It's not an expressway. Usually it will take us two days. So we have to squeeze it and then daylight, it gets dark by five. So it's going to be hard and crossing two borders. So we thought we're next to Greece. Why not go to Greece? And Greece is nice as well. Um, so that's our top plan. But of course, plan B is still maybe if Greece doesn't for whatever reason, because every day is changing because of Corona mm. infection. If Greece imposes a lockdown before we reach there, we can't enter anyway. Then we have to um, look at plan B, Montenegro and Croatia. Um, so that's, that's what mm. I'm saying. What you want to add? Anything? Uh, no, but um, I'm still like, um, I still, I'm still like, have to familiarize myself with all the countries that uh, we need to go through like uh if we go greece go this this country but not that this, this, this. i mean i'm like oh my god i don't have like a map in my head so it's 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 can it can be a bit confusing and then the other thing that is crucial is also the border regulations that keep changing e almost every 24 hours keep changing um like our initial idea uh, is go north to um, from Albania to Croatia, so spend another two months in Croatia, wait for winter before we can head out. So, and then we plan to go to Italy, spend a month there before, uh, until spring, and then we go slowly backtrack a little bit up and go away after that. Mm. Ukraine, was it? The very first one from Italy? From Sorry, Italy? I'm just thinking how we can invite more people on this thing but <laughs> no, they'll come okay yeah so uh from from there to go up to ukraine right uh, or russia from italy oh uh, yes yeah um, so, that was, uh, so that was the initial plan uh yeah. but then again um the regulation with entering um croatia is that we need to have we need to travel within 48 hours from the time from the time swap. we take the swap so from Albania, from where we are, uh, it's very very tight because we have to cross uh, Montenegro. I just that. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so obviously, I'm listening very well. Yeah. So uh, it's 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 a bit tricky, and we don't want to keep uh, taking uh, the COVID test, which costs a hundred euro in Albania. And then, right, we were checking in Croatia and um, they have like private hospitals or clinics to meet travelers at the border and they're charging 400 euro for on-the-spot testing, okay. entering um, Croatia. Actually, the other plan was, um, if you want to call it plan C, is mm. if for any reason Georgia doesn't open its border mm. or all the other countries doesn't open its border, we cannot go back to Malaysia. Then by next spring from Greece, we will go up to Romania, uh, spend time around there, and then uh, after uh, rich summer, we might actually go to Norway. So <laughs> we will we will um, stay in Europe until September still. So we will go yeah. up to Norway and then spend maybe two months there, and then go to Netherlands, sell the car, and then fly back home. That is in the event that we cannot drive back. 
Yeah, that's our plan. So any questions, anyone? Moon, I hope we're not talking too fast. You understand uh, what we're <laughs> saying, Compre? <laughs> so, yeah, we met Moon uh, when we were in confinement in Morocco, and she's the best cook chef ever. Uh, taught us how to make a uh, crab. It's not crab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she was feeding us lots of French goodies. Uh, yeah, so yep, yep, yep. Any questions or not? You guys sleeping? Uh? Um, so Ben and uh, Ben and Stan, we might see you still. Uh, yeah. next year possibility. Yep. If we cannot go to Malaysia, mm. if we cannot go, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, can I talk I don't know how to talk to myself. Eh. Huh? I don't know how to talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> but then I guess I always talk to myself. How are you, Zun? I think they, uh, they are cooking or something. See, I like IG. We can send. Ne? Just now I don't know how. Are you share lah? Share. We have any groups? Yeah. No groups. I share with friends. So no, not like in Morocco. No, 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 Okay, uh, because these are like uh, um, motorhoming groups, mm, but this is only sharing to groups. Um, can only share with groups? Um, I guess we can share to other people. Post. Share to people you know. Yeah, mm. so as you can see, we are like pretty new to this. Ah. Francois, Karma. Oh, no, 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 no. What's so, that? no. I thought. Uh, yeah, so so anyway, um, we've been here in Albania in this apartment for like almost a month. Huh? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, what we're doing here is we are trying to put together a book uh, to be ready for publication when we're back home no yeah hopefully <laughs> why you look at me like that don't yeah uh, yeah look, we have uh, lots of plans uh maybe we can we want to be movie stars as well so. no, no 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 not me no no why just a book will do <laughs> yeah yeah aspiring writers we are uh but it's not easy la. maybe you show a bit of the scenery here yeah why not uh like, let's if you if we don't sit there, I think it's got very nice view. Yeah, that's 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 it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we are on the top floor. We are on the fifth or sixth floor. Uh, and then, and it's nice view of the sea of the town. We we can see all across the mountains, to the mountains. Not across the mountains, but um, the problem is that there are, I think maybe it's the season, there are many uh, mosquitoes um, at night. Sundown, a lot of mosquitoes just hanging around the window and the, the balcony door, so we don't dare open it. Yep. Go on, I'm just sharing the <laughs> Go on. Okay, la. So anyway, um, so yesterday, right? Yesterday was Halloween. Um, we shared. Uh, no, we went. We went on on a live. Uh, uh, IG with uh, our friend from Singapore, uh, Miss Chidi. Uh, check out uh, her IG as in M I S S Chidi C H I L I. Uh, and she, Miss Chili was sharing some horror stories, and then uh, we also have horror stories. Uh. Yeah, the spooky staircase one. Uh, yeah, maybe you can share that. 
Oh, that's your story. Mm, spooky story. Okay. Oh. Um, we were in Netherlands, Delft. We parked in this place. It's like a park, and we're the only car there in the corner. And uh, we went to visit a friend in uh, Hague. And uh, after dinner, we went back to the car. It was midnight, uh, around midnight. And there's this staircase that I walked down. Um, out of a sudden, I don't know what happened. I just about five steps down, and the staircase is like 20 steps. I just lost my footing and fell. Yep. And it you was, missed a few steps. It was an awkward uh, fall. I missed the step. It was like sliding down. Sliding yeah. down, uh, face down, uh, Hit going first, down yeah. The, yeah, the staircase. And she saw me and she pulled my hand. Um, it was quite bad. I uh, hurt my knee and it was really painful. But I managed mm. to get up. And that's when I know I don't have broken bones. So uh, I went back to the car. The next day, we cycle around. And... I no. We we went that night. When you fell, we were went to Rotterdam to meet some friends. Yep. Then the next day, we went the same place to take the train to go into the hub, mm. the Hague, the Ten Hub. Oh, we didn't cycle. We didn't cycle. Hague, yeah. uh, no, we haven't got a bicycle yet. Oh. Yeah, so we go through the same place. So imagine the staircase. Um, we walk from the train. It's not It's not near, la, like 10 minutes walk. And then we have to uh, go down this very steep staircase. Like, it's like pretty steep. You have to be careful uh, going down. And she suddenly slipped, and if I didn't catch her in time, hold, hold, catch her by the arm, she would have gone down head first. Uh, the next day, we went to the same place, and we went down the same staircase. Uh, although this time we were trying to be very careful, uh, and then as we cross over to the other side, I realized I dropped my jacket. Uh, that time was about about this time. Uh, was September. It was September. Then I dropped. So I retraced back again and then my jacket oh yeah, now I got goosebumps. Uh just thinking about it. My jacket was at the bottom of the steep staircase. And when I looked up, it, it was very dark. When I looked up I realized that the place where I dropped my jacket was kind of like I imagine where Susie would be if if I didn't break her fall. She would have gone through the whole stairs and she would have landed at the bottom of the staircase where my jacket was. I realized that and it was like, oh my god. It, the, when the realization you know, hit me, it was like so spooky, so scary. Mm. Okay, yeah. I just discovered that um, the, we're using this live IG on laptop. But actually we have a lot of questions. Somebody on uh, oh, here. That? Which I didn't see, um, but it's not oh. doesn't show on a laptop. Oh. So I'm looking at my phone now. Oh, so okay. Here we are. Okay. Uh, Francine. Hi, Francine. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Francine. Um, yeah. How is the confinement can, in France? Maybe you can. Can type you reply something. to them and then go go to our live? Wait, page. wait. I need to. If not, how yeah. do I reply? Yeah, reply here. Tell them to go to the live. I think they are. No. Huh? Really? I think so. Um, let me go through it. Uh. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Maybe this one is not updated or something. So, um, uh, Stan is saying Greece is closing down. I think so. I hope that they don't close down by yeah. next month. Uh, December, we will go there early December. But um, they're only closing certain region. Um, the area we're going to hopefully will be fine uh, and doesn't get infected so badly. How is the situation in SG stand us? Maybe Zoom, you can tell us uh, from the news. I read Singapore is doing very well. We are in the EU green list now, <laughs> which uh, is uh, help in our traveling become less of a problem because first thing to look at Singapore red list, bye bye, go away. Yeah. But now Singapore is same as EU. Okay, they will let us travel. Then they will look at where have you been the last 14 days? So, for example, from Albania, okay, you need a test to go into wherever. It makes the first step easier. So, um, Singapore, uh, from what I read, uh, has infection of less than 10 a day. Sometimes 12, 14, but it's very good. 
I read also that Malaysia is like 400, 500,000 to a day, you know, some days. So um, that's not good. Uh, Albania is about 300. I know Greece is 1,005. So we have to be extra careful. But the thing is going there is we'll mostly stay on our own, uh, secluded, isolated. We even stop joining group tour here or go to the market and drinks and stuff because we don't want to be with people or with too many people so we will try and keep safe but um, we have to go to Greece um, because we cannot stay in Albania for so long <laughs> see now you, now you have it uh, sorry now the updates <laughs> yeah the lappy a bit yeah. retarded oh, well. no so, this this one aunties oh to you learn. didn't okay. I didn't scroll okay okay what so, the... um, now here at Stan how is HG uh, on Leng Hin Hope all is good on the other side. Yeah, uh, in Albania, we're okay. Mm. Uh, wear masks, go downstairs to buy bread and vegetable, come home and cook. Uh, even eating yeah. out, we try to avoid Saturday, yeah. Sunday, only when it's uh, nobody there. And, and we have desserts here, which is like gorgeous <laughs> and cheap. Francoise, you are loving. Uh, yeah, but I so still miss yeah. Francoise cake. We eat dessert, but not cake. So um, yeah. I, 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 I hope I can eat Fonsoa's cake. Uh, I'll come to that maybe later. Yeah. So uh, even eating at the dessert shop, we sit outside on our own. There's nobody there. So yeah, uh, a bit paranoid, but we have to. Yeah. Stan, we will be in Norway next year, 2021. Yay. I hope, uh, well, no, I'm not hope to go there because I hope to drive Venga back yeah. home. But if we really cannot, uh, I know Fonsoa's and Mugang is going to Norway. So if we, we really yeah. cannot drive back, I I I will try and see if we can join them and then visit Stan. Uh, yeah. And Ben. So 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 now we have Plan A and Plan B. Plan A still to drive to Malaysia and Plan B, telling which we still hang around Europe. We still have to uh, spend uh, three three months out of EU, three months in inside the EU, and we hope to join uh, Francois and uh, Wu Gang in going to the scandinavia and then we might visit uh stan and ben yeah, yeah. uh Francois, how uh ask how are we today we're good uh sun is shining it's actually quite yeah. warm outside it's hot uh it's warm blue blue sky um uh, how are you today i assume you are okay yeah. because you join us on the uh live i uh, fb uh yeah. we will see you and talk to you again very soon i yeah. hope uh, Ong Leng Hin, where is your next destination and how are you guys planning to head there? You, you want to mention that again? Uh, yeah, so uh, we have two uh, possibilities. One is to go down to Greece uh, with the plan of still heading to Turkey and after that uh, Georgia and Russia and back to China, Singapore, uh, not Singapore, I mean Malaysia. Uh, that would be in the summer of uh, next year. Uh, but for now also, we are still waiting um, for a lot of situation in Europe. One is the coronavirus and a lot of uh, countries in Europe are having lockdown. We know Italy is in lockdown, France is in lockdown, uh, Greece uh yeah, many places in lockdown and on top of that there's political uh volatility that's going on in france that uh, affecting uh greece and turkey blah 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 all this like political shit just stop like there's enough shit in the yeah, world actually, you know it's even like, the oh my God. Uh, trump sanctioning against yeah. iran is maybe affecting ah. our plan to go to iran because yeah. we can go via georgia russia or we can go via iran if you know russia and georgia is not feasible Thing is that I'm now I'm scared to go to Iran because yeah. I checked on the visa yesterday. The very interesting the guy in Iran was asking me, "Is Venga made in USA?" Now, yeah, first it's time. a dark registered car, but it's a Ford. Now, Ford which is, is an American, an American brand. brand. So, but but it Ford uh, uh, is uh, manufactured in the UK from the. 50s i think and i uh, we don't know whether our van is manufactured in uh, in the US, us but yeah, apparently origin. it's very important if you want to cross uh, into iran because uh, american vehicles are not allowed they, like yeah if they that is made in usa maybe just the engine 
No, no, I mean it's like whether or not Venga is made in the US, if it's not, okay, we have the papers to prove. But if there's a lot of uh, hostility towards American brand, yeah. just looking at the car and then with the side, we have a Columbia because that's the model of the, of the car that we have. And they would, you know, identify it as American and might be aggressive towards us. It's, yeah. it's, it's kind of like... So, uh, Shit, you know? just a short answer to Ong Leng He next destination, hopefully, is Greece. Greece. <laughs> uh, Francois asks, what's your plan for the next weeks? Uh, we will stay in Albania till uh, early December uh, and we, then head to Greece. We stay here, cook, get fat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, we try to be safe. Yeah. yeah. So, Stan, you see the question. Yeah, now we saw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, no. I'm a bit slow. Uh, yeah. Francois said, we think you can't drive for the next four weeks and then maybe you can drive for a short time to come to Germany. Um, yeah, actually, it's also a possibility, Germany. Uh, if we really Greece lock, uh, everywhere else, lock maybe uh, in December. Maybe we spend know, Christmas we with you. We were thinking no? about spending Christmas with you. Uh, it would be very very nice in Germany. I know. Yeah. Um. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, Joy, Joy. Hi, hi Joy. Joy. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, take care always. Yes. You too. Stay safe, everyone. Um. Yeah. You wanna? No. No. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. As much as we like to make plans, um, you know, the plans change all the time. So, yeah, <laughs> but, but, but it's, it's, it's a new, it's a new way of traveling as is uh, that, that we have to check so many things. And the other thing is also to check the correct places. Uh, we rely heavily on, on social media and, uh, on the, the broadcast, la, like news and all that. And also from, our friends all over the world, uh, like your sister in Greece, right, was saying that mm -hmm. there's also a lot of demonstration by the refugees there mm -hmm. because of the political situation in uh, um, <laughs> the political situation in France, which is yeah. very shitty. Um, so um, she's saying that the refugees uh, demonstration and all that are not being reported. I mean, there's so much that mm. can, we can report. And they, yeah, and, and Turkey also amidst all, I mean, they had um, uh, earthquake uh, last two days, right? Or yesterday. Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, a bit spooky because uh, I was thinking yeah. perhaps we were, we, we planned to go to Turkey. We were supposed to be in and Turkey and we were, we were supposed to be in the to coast. The, the near end of where the yeah. earthquake is and, uh, you know, it happened. Yeah. So, um, so I don't know, everything happens for a reason, maybe that's why we're here. And by the way, uh, while Francine is with us, I uh, just want to say hi and uh, I heard your anchor is much better. You had a fractured uh, fibula in Morocco, had pain for so many months yeah. and uh, and uh, I, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad to hear that uh, you didn't need operation, just physio, and you're better. So uh, lucky good to thing, hear you. lucky thing, the massage wasn't hard. If not, you <laughs> would, you know, make your situation a lot yeah, uh, worse. Yeah. And we have read the book by yes, Zonja, I read the Francis book. Hatton. I actually gave a review on uh, Amazon, Amazon e book, but it doesn't seem to show. I don't know, but. I enjoy reading it. Uh, the less the less confines the takat. Um, yeah. If any of you interested to read, one of my fellow campers uh, wrote a book about our uh, his experience in Morocco and uh, our three months confinement. Yeah. It was uh, a, a a good read because the I enjoy his style of writing. Uh, his observation, the way he writes is very interesting, very engageable to the reader. So it's excellent read, um, about 192 pages if I remember correctly. So it's a nice read if you if you like. Um, <laughs> nice, did uh, Omun say nice apartment? Yes, yeah. thank you very much. It's beautiful outside, it's got big balcony. But I um, very... can't really bring you out because then the con connection for the internet might be disrupted. Moon Bone Apartment. <laughs> yeah. Moon is uh, one of our top <laughs> favorite person in uh, Camping Takat. She is such a vibrant, yeah. lively character, happy person. I love to be with her. 
And she made very nice crepes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm yet to eat Francois crepe. Francois, <laughs> did yeah. she? I saw we. She got a pen, but she hasn't made yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, maybe next time we see her, yeah. she'll make for us. Uh, <laughs> what? Stand. What? This has to be the longest vacation <laughs> in history. <laughs> well, I'm not sure because we met a lot of people uh, on motorhome on the road. And they've been on the road for two years, four years, some eight years, yeah. I think. And uh, very common people have been on the road for two years. Um, Alex has been on the road like six years. Yeah. So there are a lot of people. We are we are really young. One year <laughs> yeah. is young. Um. Yeah. And and also actually we should have ended our travel by now because the original plan is from September one year. So we will like leave for yeah. October. Yeah. You know. But of course, uh, we were stuck in Morocco for whole seven months. Uh, and then we 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 love the vet so much that we want to continue keep keep uh extending our our yeah our vacation. <laughs> yeah. So so that's why we plan yeah, to the, bring the it home. Yeah, the plan was one year, mm. but we love it so much. Uh, we could go on and on. This one can doesn't want to go home. She can do it forever. This uh, apartment is too big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is big. Um, yeah. um but uh, Moon and uh, Francine and Francoise also you should consider coming to Albania. We should talk to Albanian tourism. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, it's very nice, especially by the coast. Um the sea is is very nice. Of course not yeah. as nice as Croatia, but it's definitely cheaper. But, but actually for the beach it's it's very long stretch. So it's like um, maybe three kilometer long oh, or longer yeah. if you want to really walk. Yeah. So you can you can have a really nice walk along yeah. the beach um, in the morning. Yeah. The... Like like here in Duras is pretty uh, developed, uh, but further south is uh, better. We were in Oricum, Oricum, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oricum. Uh, no, uh, Vela. Uh, was Oricom as long no, Vela, Vela, as Vela, long yeah. as here the beach? This um, one is really no, long. this is longer, but they yeah. don't want to be. I would say nicer. The yeah. the water is nicer, and further yes. south you have to travel through the mountains. Yeah. It's Sarande. It's they say it's the best. We couldn't go because because uh, Wolfie's car yeah uh, couldn't go up. It's really steep and yeah. bendy. You know, go up and. And yeah. also, we didn't want to stress Venga out because we need to conserve her for the long uh, travel through Russia and such. So, we abandoned plan, we turned around, but I think I would I would try that um, again, uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I would try that, I would definitely, but this I'm one, sure. this one, the one, uh, mm -hmm. Sarande. So, in the west coast of, west coast, uh, this one west, right? Yeah, west coast of Albania. It's super, it's really really nice. Yeah. West coast. West coast. Where in the west? Huh? I, yeah. Yeah. The coast lah. Yeah. Well, I, I, my phone doesn't show all the this this thing lah. So I start it? from beginning again. Oh, is okay. It? Yeah. Because some part of it so I shall read. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Zoom says sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Miss Chili also confirmed storm that. Outside. Staying indoors. Storm outside. Oh. Oh, yours. Uh, in Norway. Storm. Okay. Send some pictures. You saw then. the sun just now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So how was the confinement in uh, France? Eh, Germany no lockdown yet, nah. Not sure. They were talking about it. So how <clears throat> is it, uh, Francoise? Uh, any lockdown in Germany? Hopefully not, because it is another door for us to mm. to go and visit you. You know, always keep the option uh, open. Yeah. <clears throat> now, for example, if we were to travel to Germany, we would have to cross from here, Albania, uh, where well, Albania, Montenegro, Montenegro, Croatia, Hungary. Uh, no, we can go via Slovenia. But I know that so Slovenia is also pretty bad, and uh, yeah. I'm not sure about the borders. Yeah. So, yeah, so after Slovenia would be Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Slovenia, Austria, Germany. Mm. Yeah. So the. Issues first with border and then um, you know we only have forty eight hours uh some seventy two hours like if we go into Greece the PCR, uh COVID test lasts for seventy two hours, um but going up north is forty two hours and then you know we have to cross so many borders and they Actually, might impose instead of Greece maybe we can go Germany also possibility, because you spend Greece is EU so we can go to Germany 
and spend Christmas with Francois and Wolfie is a possibility. And, so then, and then spring, <laughs> we head out again. So this is plan plan number <laughs> 11, uh, plan E or oh, G. Oh, okay. Francois just confirmed. Lockdown until end of November. Yeah, November <laughs> we're not we're, we're not going anywhere. We stay put here. Yeah, yeah. November we're here, so maybe we we'll, we'll see. We love to spend Christmas. Yeah, and eat all German the Christmas. But then there might not be any Christmas uh, because of the lockdown, right? They're closing everything by nine o'clock at night. So Christmas might not be a possibility for a lot of Europeans. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, That's why they're locking down in November, hoping things will get better in December. But I think someone commented on the news that uh, everyone is just being naive. Yeah. <laughs> there will be no Christmas for this year. Uh, no, I don't yeah. know. Uh, hopefully, maybe a vaccine. Is Francois asked plan number what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, C. so I think much it's crazy. Okay. First is Greece. Uh, and then it changes also the Europe. Uh, European uh, update their regulations every two weeks. They're reviewing. Yeah. So here, lock there, lock in two weeks. Um, things might change again. So, yeah. Mm. Plan one o one. Uh, Francine, yeah. uh, we discover lockdown in France yeah. so different regarding Taka. We regret. Yeah, actually, we we have this uh, lady we met in uh, Morocco near Tin here, Kempatouch must go place. Um, she bring uh, she's French. She bring friends from France to a group mm. to Morocco, and, and they, they are now went, in Morocco now. They went on Monday drive by car to Morocco and they're there enjoying themselves, saw pictures of it, fantastic. Yeah. And then France locked down, so it's weird, right? Because we were in Morocco, everyone was there like six months, couldn't wait to go home, locked for three months in a gate. Yeah. And they're now home in France, but French people going to Morocco, Morocco is now free. So it's so strange, right? I, I don't know. You, yeah. you lock in Morocco and then you can't wait to go home and then go home, you got locked. Lock. And then the other one is now open. It's so hard. Hey! Hey, I'm saying, hey, I'm saying, how are you? Skinny, 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 She's the joy of our lives for three months in a very difficult no, time. No, 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 okay. And for a lot of people, she brings joy to the whole campsite. Joy to the world. Um, was jotting down notes on the book and yeah. life would not be the same without her in the camp for many people. Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> yeah. Looking back, looking back, uh, uh, being confined in Takat, um was super wonderful because we were in a bubble and then we didn't have to worry about infection we didn't have to worry about other borders you yeah. know but then um, we we were so bored after three months there but actually it was good we know it's yeah. good but three months of the same thing can get very boring um but uh yeah but we made the best of it everyone yeah. made the best of it and and yeah. i think compared uh, I think all the people that were confined with us, uh, when looking back, I think they look look at it fondly. Yeah. Yeah, Fonsoa also said she's again really the song. Honor. She is. Everybody love her. She's she saying again the song. She got fifty grannies who love Wait, her. Wait, Amra is saying again the song. Really? Skinnering, kidding, kidding, skinnering, kidding. I love you. For three months, we were stuck in Taka, and um, Avril, the little girl, bring us such joy. She, I love to hear her voice in yeah. the morning. Francois said she is really our love. Yeah, oh. she would sing, and then uh, we would sing her. Uh, 
teach her some songs to sing and then uh, oh teach her various languages um, oh sampan she knows sampan uh, which is boat uh, in, in, in Malay, right? Yeah. And then she learns Satu Dua Tiga, which is one, two, three Malay language. So, yeah, um, yeah and, so it's yeah. such fun, uh, you know, interacting with her and uh, see just, her grow. Just bring her, bring us simple joys in life. Um, this one, this one doesn't, <laughs> doesn't like kids like at children. all. It's like, yeah. why are you even bother? I find it like... very annoying, but Avril is different. <laughs> She rarely cry. Even when she fall down, she doesn't cry. Um, it's amazing. Hey, remember when she dropped down from, the, from, bed. from the bed in she the car? Like, oh, I, I fell oh, from my bed. I fell down from my bed. It was, I fell down with my bed. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, it was like, scary. And yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, it's so just... special and um, oh, it's so funny too. And then we 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 go out um we her when we were able to go out to the beach after like three months being locked inside yeah, the bed, and she was singing in the car on the journey la 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 li, li, li. <laughs> uh, Until now, we all have this song in our our mind whenever you know it's we think about song. it's her song and it's she's so amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> she is. Awesome, she's yeah. so uh, when you grow up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> when you grow up famous and rich, yeah, uh, remember all these aunties and yeah, uh, Francine joined us. Francine was one of the babysitter yeah. as well, right? Uh, babysitter, yeah. she has so many babysitter, yeah, yeah uh, so it's amazing. So, so anyway. Um, we uh, <laughs> we are also uh, you're welcome, Oxen. <laughs> okay, we are also um trying to be pretty careful here. Um, we we try to find uh to look for the numbers right of infection mm. in in uh Albania, but the numbers I think are a bit unreliable because um they don't have enough COVID tests. Yeah. Here, so, but but uh, I think it's okay. I seen um. The street is not so crowded and not many people are in the bar. I think most are staying at home. Um, occasionally, I hear ambulance siren. Mm. Not every day, but there was one day, I think three days ago, I hear three in one night. I was really scared. I go, do you hear the siren? Then yeah. next time, do you hear another one? <laughs> yeah. And then three. <laughs> then after that, luckily no more. Uh, maybe Francine, uh, you are in France or Moon. Uh, you can tell us how is the lockdown in France compared to Morocco, what is the difference? Yeah, and uh, is Moon still with us, or yeah. is she, or maybe Moon? Serene, can tell us. Serene is uh also watching. Hi, Serene. Serene. Yeah. Oh, hi, Serene. How are you? How come you? How come it doesn't show here? Uh, okay. That's a bit strange. It's yeah. So uh, maybe our friends from France can tell us how um, things oh. are like in France. Oh, and and uh, Oxen, you guys are back in Switzerland, oh, right? Oh yeah, um, Switzerland. No, how was how was crossing over from Italy to Switzerland? No, borders, no border. Right, no borders. Right. So I assume it's okay. And I don't think Switzerland has any lockdown. So yeah. um, we check there's a reopen EU app that we check from time to time, you know, when we want to plan or think about any travels, we look at it first and see what is the situation requirement, but it's getting more and more complicated. So yeah. Mm. Uh what else? Uh, you scrolling? How come how come you serene? Regine, which Regine is this one? Regine, our neighbor with Daniel. Regine, Daniel's wife. Ah, Regine, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Tell us. Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. How is the lockdown in France? What is the difference between the lockdown in France and uh, Morocco? How do you say bonjour afternoon? Is what? Uh? Bonsoir. Bonsoir bon, is. Bonsoir is night. Uh, bonsoir is evening. Uh, Afternoon, uh, forgot already. <laughs> mm. You're not confined with us, that's not cool. <laughs> Are you sure you want us to annoy you? You need April. <laughs> Everybody oh. needs April. Yeah. April is like, everyone will be like, uh, she's, she's like, I don't know, I'm sure she's a lot more energetic now. 
Oh, oh. Uh, All right. it's getting scary. Oh, especially in the north uh, of Italy, they're hit badly by the first wave. Everywhere in the country, they're very careful. Were there a lot of uh, police check or police stop in uh, in uh, North mm. Italy when you are going back to Switzerland? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine um, the, the 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 strict um, uh, uh, you know the, the strict execution of the confinement everywhere because everyone is just so afraid. And uh, as we were saying, um, Susie's sister in Greece was saying that there's mm. a lot of unrest as well, uh, because on top of the COVID, there was the demonstration against uh, mm. uh, Macron response about the Islamist yeah. attacks, blah blah blah. I Man, like I say, like there's enough shit in the world, and you add on politics. Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No police stop at all. Not even at border. That's good. Um. Mm. Actually, here, since October, mm. we noticed a lot more police car around. Mm. Before, we maybe see once a day. Now you see them two, three times. Yeah. Uh, it seems like they're patrolling every. Yeah, hour. and also they have the sirens on. Uh, but maybe they're, they're enforcing um the mask wearing. But I don't see them enforcing. No, si- right? when they go past, there's no siren. The siren is at night, uh, which I believe maybe. might be the ambulances. Yeah. But uh, the max that I heard the other night was three times in one night. But last night there's one, like night before maybe but one. But we have not seen uh, the police enforcing uh, people to wear masks. But everyone have their masks around. But we we read yeah. about uh in the local news uh they imposed seven hundred and seventeen fines on people who are not wearing it. But still, I see people walking around here. Some not wearing. Most no. Most of them has the mask around their neck, or yeah. some are wearing it. Uh, but I, I I think the fines are mostly in the capital of Tirana, where yeah. it's more dense. Uh, it's more dense, and then the infection rate is is higher there also in Tirana. Mm. So then, ask how is it for you to be settled in one place on your own? Um, getting fat. <laughs> um, it's okay because um, the place is so open um, we got 180 degrees view and we go downstairs every day to buy produce or just walk, walk along on the, the beach, beach. Yeah. Uh, the beach is not too crowded um, so it was okay and then we also have a um, target which is to try and uh, catch up with the book that we hope and to the write. videos and the pictures and, and organization and then of blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah. Although I watch until I'm groggy sometimes, um. But otherwise, it's okay. Um, not it, not as bad as the last two times. Um, what last two that, times? That that time it was as I I feel so restless yeah. after five days and then. Even visiting friends after one week also feel very restless. But here seems to be okay. <laughs> because maybe, we have no choice. Maybe, yeah, no, no we have choices. We can no, o- also, I think because we are more prepared and we have a little bit more experience uh, being confined or being confined on the road and just appreciate uh, the facilities <laughs> of think, the apartment. I think the thing is that uh, because we've been traveling for a year, so a uh, little bit of travel fatigue so we are quite looking forward to being stationary just for a little while to catch up and rest and then we yeah. know next year is going to be a tough journey if we're making that journey yeah so we're quite happy to be settled in one place for now and we know that it's not permanent because next month we have to travel again so uh we're yeah. okay we're doing yeah we're, we're yeah although we're quite well with it yeah pretty well uh, although i got like uh itchy feet last week like you know like i just want to drive and go somewhere because you miss the road um and and that's that's why i was doing the video of uh the, <laughs> the roads road. that uh we went through in uh, a lot of places it's not all it's not exhaustive but yeah, you know, really we miss, really took miss a little it, trip yeah. drive to town and back a few kilometers. Yeah. But we can drive, but I, I, we've been traveling for a year. We drove for 30,000 kilometers in one year. So I think uh, you were quite tired. Uh, yeah, you know, pretty tired. Constantly on the move. Uh, although sometimes we stay in one place for two, three nights, but still you are 
not easy yeah. living a life of a gypsy. Yeah. So yeah, I I am quite happy uh, to be stay put for yeah. uh, to rest and catch our breath. Yeah, and 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 if you see behind the <laughs> the there, there, there's an oven. Eh? Oven. oven. Okay, you must eat there. That's an oven that we are trying to we enjoy. Make, uh, pizza. Yeah. So we make cooking video. Uh, so <laughs> cooking we, again, what else, right? Yeah, things to do to keep yeah. us occupied. And um, we've been exercising. <laughs> oh, this. yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, you want to tell about it? <laughs> <laughs> we, we found this video, Leslie Sanson. And she has like one mile walk, two mile walk, three mile walk. So we do, uh, we're trying to do this exercise every day. Oh, we have been doing we it. Have we have been, been doing, doing it for a week already, but not yeah. three miles every day. Yeah. So uh, it, 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 it's really good because when I feel lethargic, we, we do it once a day. And then on top of that, also go downstairs and, and yeah. walk to buy stuff or go to the beach for a walk yeah the beach is nice i mean there's a lot of people running and like training like there's one or two guys training mm. uh football yesterday we saw one old guy swimming in the sea yeah every so, now and then there's there's always someone swimming in the sea i mean yeah. i've been wanting to do it but but it's just that it's it's been cold and lazy la. and uh it's shallow the water is very shallow so you have to really go out um uh, 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 quite, quite a distance maybe 100 i don't know even i don't know how long what? 100 meters 200 meters even oh, to go out. yeah mm, it's a bit like it seemed like oricum yeah yeah mm. oh hi zubi zubi just uh oh, just yeah. enter the same <laughs> start with me yeah so it, is it because it's yeah that? We can end all violence against women. Okay, this yeah, t-shirt is out. from uh, our friend, who uh, our friend Zubi. Uh, which organization is it? Is aware. It aware? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, aware is an organization. Uh, it's a women's organization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How yeah, are you, Zubi? Okay, Zubi came to uh, Albania, Germany, For and then visit. back home. Uh, she's now under quarantine. quarantine. Uh, JW Marriott. Oh, How? Second How's your week. quarantine? Like, yeah, what a place to be, right? Yeah, tell us about it because, um, yeah, I think when we go back, um, okay, here's the, thing. On the wait, situation, wait, wait. we might have to right. be quarantined. Okay, so uh, all these regulations uh keep changing, right? And um, initially for Singaporeans who travel before uh, before the COVID uh pandemic in March, so when we go back to singapore uh we will not we don't have to pay for the quarantine because we went out before the uh covid uh sets in but we just heard recently like just this week that if we come back in 2021 anytime we would have to pay for the quarantine i mean like what the f you know so even that uh adds on to a bit of stress on our travel so it's like uh, like this week we were thinking like should we just abandon plan abandon plan meaning uh we don't the 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 future the border is becoming super strict we don't know what will be open right now and then with all the covid tests we have to go blah 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 it's too troublesome and and then um if we have to go back like in january you know we would have to pay for the quarantine which is two thousand dollars per person and then for each of us, you know, although we travel together for one year, we would have to be um, in separate um, rooms. Like that means we have to pay so for it. So maybe Zubi can tell us, yeah. can you choose where you stay and what is the price difference? <coughs> and uh, do you know uh, yeah. who uh, Sufian Sulaiman yeah. is? Hi. Hi. Who? Hello. Uh, yeah, Safia. it's uh, uh, my ex-colleague's uh, son he's hi for uh, thanks for joining oh. us <coughs> who's that i know it's just run out of battery <laughs> yeah so um yeah so okay uh, 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 uh segel yeah, it hi. feels like the second wave in the australian state of victoria at the start of winter here but at much larger scale yeah everywhere <coughs> Oh, uh, right. Zubi is saying if both no. of you share a room, you can share the two thousand dollar cost. So, can we choose which hotel we stay in, uh, in uh, in Singapore for the quarantine, uh, Zubi? And I don't know if we can share a room. Uh, but in I any mean, case, if you're not related, can you share a room? Because 
I, we know of some uh, one couple they split them into two different places so, so we yeah. don't know we don't know we, we don't have the information and it's really pretty stressful for me also because it's just some of the things are just pretty stupid because what we can do is we can be quarantined at home and you know we have our own flat and everything blah 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 but anyway uh, we are not gonna go home uh, in uh, so soon um, at the very at the very earliest maybe in september 2021 so we'll think about that later and the other thing is uh girik segel from uh, victoria australia from the state of victoria says that it feels like the second wave the australian state of victoria at the start of winter is uh winter but, but at I a thought, much larger I scale australia is doing pretty well the yeah almost like no zero cases. um zero cases so we yeah. don't know we don't know but yeah. you know all this information uh, you don't know we have to take it with a pinch of salt mm. um but it's good that australia has been uh has been reporting very low infection rate and uh singapore might open uh borders with them again right because singapore has opened yeah. new zealand yeah, yeah, thought, korea yeah. so it's good um you know uh, i have a few friends in australia so hopefully people in australia are, are keeping safe also uh yeah all right so uh give me uh wait hmm. carry on carry on yeah so yeah so um, what, 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 what? yeah we, we we don't know everything everything also don't know you so know Zubi, can we choose the hotel we want to be quarantined in i'm curious yeah. to know and is there a price difference mm. yeah um uh, invite your friends to do yeah that. yes um um we because as part of our travel we want to connect with a lot of people and it's it's very hard to find uh or to connect with asians because um most of the people who are living or are traveling full time are non asians or very few asians so we only met one asian yeah. uh, couple in our one year trip yeah. <laughs> the korean like personally meet them it yes, was by chance korean. right yeah. in morocco yeah and we hope we don't know what happened to them um, park and kim no 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 they mm. went back home they wait their car is know, still in morocco and they're waiting yeah. for the virus to go away before yeah. they so so when we went to agadir uh they went for the south to hi baby tata thanks for joining any what's questions it, what's it tata what the korean ah uh? uh. no not tata no further uh, down camp jurassic no no we met there but we were we were in agadir but they went down south to tata Oh, Tan Tan. Tan Tan. Oh yeah, Tan Tan is the middle. Tan Tan. Yeah, so they went there and then when uh, borders were closing, they took a cargo flight, a medical uh, supply back to Korea and they left their Sprinter van with with a friend, Korean friend there. I don't know whether the van is still there or they're picking it up because they were like planning to go to Canada. Um oh and and by the way we were checking uh, for the travel to Iran right and Canadians Americans are not allowed in right yeah <laughs> Canadian American British ah no they are not allowed yeah. to enter Iran so yeah, yeah oh Oxen Oxen's car is okay Mitsubishi is made in Japan <laughs> yeah. Oxen I think uh our Vanga is made is Ford you know uh they ch- asking is it American made if yeah. it's American made we're not allowed in Yeah. So well, we'll see. Uh, we we'll have to check on that. Uh, Zubi say you taken away like mystery. That's very scary. So basically, you reach Singapore, and they just take you to a mystery hotel and and lock you up for fourteen days, and you don't know where you're going. So so so, you could pay two thousand for Marriott or a shitty hotel like Fragrance Hotel. <laughs> I Is don't think so. Oh my hotel. god! I'll be screaming. No, for for me, it's like, it's it's very stupid. I mean, I have a place. back home i'm living by myself why would i pay two thousand dollars for that <laughs> why would you because the government says so <laughs> but yeah but that's interesting and uh, mm. quite annoying you're taking a mystery ride and we have to pay for it so lucky yeah. you marriott maybe they see you come from germany uh, give you <laughs> can i go to uh uh mbs uh is mbs also one of it i think you you had a friend who 
was quarantine in the MBS, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they give you MBS food, ah? Uh-uh, I have no Eight idea. Eight to 2K include food, ah? Yeah. All right. I wouldn't want to be la. Frankly, I wouldn't yeah, want she to said, be. Yeah, it's a lottery. Yeah, some get less fancy hotel. Less yeah. fancy hotel means less money. Yeah, why would no, I pay? No, she said it's the same price. Eh? I yeah, no, it's it's just very stupid. So because some of these things really don't make sense anyway. Um. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Uh. Hi, Sufian Sulaiman. Uh. He's quite um. Uh. Good. Uh, he's an estate agent back in Singapore. Um. House work <laughs> how's it there still making money eh? <laughs> wow fullerton is one of the hotel you can be quarantined in no bad huh fullerton is one of the whole top hotel in singapore is, is it the only six star hotel it's got it's got a nice view of the singapore river uh, and uh, there's no grocery ah, free. otherwise you have fantastic thanks free. karen lim for sending the link to uh, before I arriving in ICA, before oh, arriving okay, in thanks for that. I I, I will I will have a look at out. that. Uh, yeah, I didn't know Karen Lim is in our. Uh, Who's Karen Lim? I don't know. I just saw her name. So. Hi Karen Lim. Hi, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Phoebe <laughs> is joining us. But yeah, some is there? of it shown there. Some yeah. shown. Yeah, yeah, I like that. But um, uh, please type uh whatever questions that you might have or anything that you want to know. Um, like 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 I say, um, regulations everywhere are changing. I think including the quarantine, um, in Singapore now, but I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 too much. Uh, changes to keep up right now. It's like when we want to move, then we'll, then we'll go. Mm. Oh, Karen Lin says application for opting out dedicated and then we fill from form November. Oh, excellent. May opt out. Estonia, Finland, Norway, eh? Wow. Sri Lanka, Thailand. So we can actually drive to <laughs> Norway. <laughs> okay, so we travel to Norway and then from there go home. So basically, if we go back to Singapore, it depends on our exit border. And uh, different if we we leave uh different countries I mean different quarantine um, hey, regulations. Hey, Stan. Um, yeah. Okay, Stan need to hear this. Um, we just read from Karen Lim from back in Singapore. Uh, she gave us some info about uh, traveling back to Singapore. So if we travel from Norway, uh, we stay in Norway for fourteen days, and then we don't have to. Uh, be quarantined. We can stay at home. So yeah, if we have to fly home, then fly home from Norway. Members who are also person serving stay home. What uh, What's Anna? With the same travel history and duration of. Yeah. yeah. So well, okay. we'll, we'll see. Yeah. So stay. <laughs> we might have to visit you and fly home from Norway. If we have to fly home, we fly. Hey, not. Turkey also leh. Huh? Turkey also leh. Turkey is too far away. We have to drive Vanguard to Netherlands. Then from mm. there go Norway is very near, but hopefully not. No, then we, we no, want no, no. to drive wait, to wait, 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 wait. So so I mean this is plan uh, J right or D. <laughs> okay. Say say for example if we were to have to return Vanda to uh, Netherlands and then we hitch a ride with Wolfgang and Francois and then we go Norway oh, yeah. and then drop us all and then oh, we fly home. Oh yeah, that's a, ah. you know, I hope that's not meant to be but yeah, <laughs> it's a possibility. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, thanks Karen oh, wow. for that information. Yeah, yeah, it's, we it's got really friends good, yeah. in Norway who is waiting for us to visit and we love to visit just that yeah. we didn't go that route and mm. we're still hoping to drive to Malaysia but if we can't, um, that is a high possibility that we we might go to Norway <laughs> and party. <laughs> or I don't know. I don't know. I still remember. Us, yeah. Stan Wunderburger. Yeah. Ah, Lisbeth, join us. Yeah, hi Lisbeth. How are you? Uh, wave, wave, <laughs> wave. Hey Lisbeth, uh, from the Netherlands. Where are you at now? Are you in the Netherlands? Or uh, Lisbeth somewhere is someone. Else? Uh, also, we met in Morocco. Right before, I think one or two Near weeks before the lockdown. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and and she was graceful enough to host us when yes, we went back. Yes, yeah. when we went to Netherlands, yeah, uh, nice. we, we stayed with her a few days. Um. So yeah, at least uh, we are in uh, Albania, and we are hoping to go to Greece next month. Um, if all is status quo. Mm. Oh, all is well. Hopefully things uh, don't get that bad uh, by next month, mm. and we can go to Greece. Uh, yeah, fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. Yeah. I love to visit Greece. Mm. Mm. Okay. So any more questions? So um, unless uh, anyone has got any question, maybe we should end no. the session. Don't want. Yeah, don't want. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys. I don't. I uh, hey, talk to at people, least you know? any. Any possible, any news Hi, lovely girl. that uh, <laughs> Netherlands might lock down or not, or Netherlands doing okay because uh, France, Italy, Germany, and Greece. UK are not doing well. Yeah. So uh, Greece is still okay, you know. I read thousand five, but if you look at UK, is twenty five thousand, fifty thousand, but then maybe they yeah. test more. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, uh, Phoebe has a great friend. Yes, no. ask her to join us. Why? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, Claire, Claire has just joined us. Just Hello. Hey, so Oh, la, la, la. That's my colleague from long time ago when I was in radio. Uh, hi, Zap. Oh, Claire. How are you? Miss you. Uh, we where's the house, baby? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Go on. We were supposed to, you know, do some projects together after Morocco, but then again, here we are. Um, how Singapore? <laughs> oh, you mean the trip, trip to Morocco, the tour? Mm, uh, yeah. yeah, it's still, it's still in the pipeline. When we go back to Singapore, yeah. we we'll organize a trip to Morocco. Yeah. Uh, ah, Elizabeth, it's okay for me. Decorate, I just decorate living room, nice. Yeah, house. Your house is so beautiful. Oh. You're still decorating it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so nice. But good for you. It's a beautiful house. Yeah. Very warm and cozy. Yeah. I wish my house in Yishu be like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's that? No, it's just a okay. A vet. And uh, yeah. later I reply to yeah. BB. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thirty euros a bit expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah, so uh, the last we were in the Netherlands, uh, Lisbeth hosted us and then we walk around, we took the time also, downtime. Um, it was where? Where was it? Where was our house? Uh? Dell? Not Dell. I can't remember. <laughs> Amos food near Amos food, I think. Anyway. Ah, wow! You know what Lisbeth say? I stay safe by dance, wine and dine at, at the, the house. house. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, the the wine here is also cheap, but I don't know how good they are. Yeah. Uh, sounds good, Phoebe. Can send me location, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so you see, like uh, we are planning for for a few places. Um, so it's like at first we thought we go to Italy, right? So I asked a friend there to help look for apartment, blah blah blah, and then we have some idea already. We have some concrete plans there. Then something then in the news, we go back or oh, maybe we go Greece. So now we are looking for. For places ah, to breathe. Home Lark. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, Hover we went Hover Lark. It was very nice. Nice place. Yeah. A very nice place that yeah. you can walk. You can do some uh, hiking yeah. there. Uh, you walk along the fields. And uh, nice. Very nice. I remember the walk. It's very nice. I remember thinking I don't mind living there. Uh, <laughs> it's one like, no, it's, it's too cold. cold. It's cold. Yeah. yeah but it's I, like, I like, I like, I like Holland. Yeah. Uh, Oh, hi, Fauzia. Oh, this was a friend that we were supposed to meet in uh, Holland as well the first time last oh. year. But uh, no luck, belum jodo <laughs> to meet. Hi, Fauzia and Fauzia. I think right now she's in Singapore. Are you stuck in Singapore? Uh, please let us know. Oh, she went back uh, to Singapore. She yeah. went back to Singapore for, oh. for yeah. And but then, Singapore is not under lockdown, so she shouldn't be stuck there. She wants to, I think she needs to come back, uh, come back to uh, Holland. Holland is also yeah. not locked down, I think. I don't know. So she can always, 
uh, I don't know. And Singapore is in green lease, so she'd be okay to travel, I guess. I don't know. Mm. You know, but uh, Fauzia was quarantined in MBS. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> the mountain, Vivi. <laughs> okay, so mountain. so at the, at, the, at, the, at the same time, uh, Susie's sister is is checking some accommodation in Greece, in Greece me, yeah. and she say, "Oh, this good, okay. It's not too expensive, but it's high in the mountains." So I was like, the address I check on the GPS, see when yeah. it's possible. If they have a garage where I can keep Venga inside, mm. then it's okay because uh, in a house we won't feel as cold as. In bank in the van, uh, so uh, yeah, I can consider it. Yeah, ah, mm. uh, Fauzia says yeah. back in Singapore to visit family, and we're going back to Netherlands in December. Never, mm. Yeah, yeah. Say hi yeah. to Singapore, then to oh, Netherlands. Oh, the quarantine and BS. Yeah. So so Fauzia, when you get back, when you get back, right? Um, to Netherlands, do you have to go through the quarantine as well there, or do you need COVID test or she whatever? Quarant- oh, when in Netherlands. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep pull uh, because No, it's good to know because um we're traveling in Europe, right? So all these country mm. concerns us. Although uh within Europe, by the time we reach Netherlands we are okay. <laughs> Hopefully. It's the first country you cross into. Uh Well partial lockdown now there, Netherlands. Mm, yeah. No, I okay. mean, I mean, whatever information we have now, by the time we want to travel, it <laughs> yeah. changes again. So it's yes. like, mm, okay, lah. So every day you know, plan but... changes. Yeah. So we'll see. Mm. You know? Yeah. Oh well. Uh, anyone any questions? Do 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 do. Hmm. Safe. Uh, wish you both lots of fun, safety, and love. Hugs, have a good day, love you both. Yes, thank you very much and uh hopefully one one day we'll meet again, uh Liz Liz Buff. Um Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe we'll meet somewhere, maybe you can fly to I don't know, like Turkey <laughs> if when we are there or Ukraine or Russia or Malaysia, Liz Buff. I would love to bring you around. Like, see me. Maybe you can even come to Singapore, and then mm. we bring you around. Uh, Fauzia says I just need to self to to self quarantine at yeah. home in uh, Netherlands. No more hotel quarantine. That's yeah. alright. Stay at home. Stay safe. Yeah. it's good. I don't yeah. see actually right. I don't see the point of quarantine of making people to be quarantined in a hotel. In a hotel, is very high traffic, and then you are confined to a bloody room. You know, however mm. luxurious. The room is, uh, you know, it's still a four walls and and so much that can do. Uh, what does it do? Mm. Uh, know? Phoebe. Uh, the mountain is not in Athens, right? So let me know where it is. Uh, I will look. And uh, Fauzia say, luckily you both are in Eastern Europe because situation in Europe is so bad. Yes, yes. Uh, I think we are here where we are by choice. Yeah. So we did weigh um the consequences or or, or the the situation the just like when we were in Morocco we weighed between Morocco and Spain Spain was bad in March mm. so we chose to stay in Morocco and then now um yeah I think uh here here the the Western Europe is 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 cold here the weather is better see you still and in, in which is why shape. we choose to come here along the coast as opposed to stay in a cold country uh with difficult and with infection and flu season mm. uh not a very good place to be in you know we think and uh yeah. luckily for us we 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 we're, we're right uh hopefully in that aspect yeah mm. uh in case it, we feel we made the right decision la, and uh and uh, initially Initially, the idea was to to spend the the first part of winter in uh, Bulgaria, but uh yeah, as the story goes, we were denied entry, and then we had to turn back to North Macedonia and and Albania. And just as well, right? Yeah. Because we might be in Turkey now, and yeah. the and the the the, the west yeah. coast is where uh it's warm for winter. We plan to be and there. And they yeah. have a a a earthquake, earthquake yeah. there, so uh. 
if you believe in God, God is protecting us. Maybe uh, I'm I'm kind of like an atheist, uh, <laughs> kind of. Either you are, you are not. Because sometimes you sometimes know. Sometimes I do. Sometimes. Well, you believe in God, right? So I guess yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. God is protecting you and me. <laughs> Uh, okay la, but you know um it's good to be informed and also have not just plan b uh, plan b c d e f um which we did uh, and we exercised those uh, options um and but i think that's ayo that's, that's, that's the whole part and parcel of uh, traveling uh, uh traveling uh, full time now it's like that. I mean, worst come to worst, I say we we have a home. Uh, Venga is there, very um equipped for anything. Um, but we choose to be in the apartment for a little bit of comfort, la. Just a little bit yeah. extra comfort. Uh, yeah. Because we're quite tired. Uh, yeah. On the road for one whole year, oh, yeah. four hundred days. Four hundred over four hundred days. Yeah, I lost count, eh? So uh, we just need to uh. <laughs> Regroup our energy and then yeah. we'll be missing the road. Uh, we do miss Venga, mm. but we we we, <laughs> we visit Venga every day. Yeah, yeah on Venga and look at yeah. it every day. We 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 must see it every day. Otherwise, yeah. we'll miss it so much. Uh, sayang sayang her. Uh-huh. Um, Venga is parked just across the road from the apartment, and we can even see, see from, from the balcony. Yeah, yeah. So we were just like, mm, yes, you know, and it's also across from the shop. The so called landlord that that uh, we ran from uh, to make it easy, so they they are also keeping an eye. Oh, and uh, last just 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 a few days back, we saw one. We know we received a note, um, f- uh, from a Dutch, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. uh, somebody we were, left a note on our windscreen. Yeah, the the guy who passed by Venga is from the same area where Venga is from, so it's more. Yeah, yeah, and then he wrote in in Dutch, so we have to like yeah, go I, back I, and oh, yeah, it's here. I got it. Uh, lit. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got a note. No, no, no. This is the address for the post office. Yeah, <laughs> from what? You have it on your phone, ah? Uh? Uh, it's hard to show. And then why? Show. Yeah. So so he wrote, and then we translate, and then he was saying that oh, just say hi, and it's like so. Is it strange or pretty excited to see another uh, Dutch car there? And he wrote in Dutch, and we're like, okay, Google Translate. But we didn't see that. Uh, no, then we went on the beach, uh, and then we saw this uh, motorhome. Um, it was a Dutch plate. Yes, yeah, we, it was we, Dutch plate. We saw Dutch, we saw German, we saw Italian. Yeah, Yeah, and yesterday we saw an Italian uh, motorhome here. So uh, I think uh, a lot of people might um you know might might come down here i think should come down to albania i mean uh, you know it's 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 pretty nice and there's a lot of places you have the mountain in the central and then the coast is very nice and there are some um um not some like a lot of um full service um campsite uh, i think generally it's about 10 euros 10 to 12 euros um yeah so you know a great place to spend the winter all right and yeah Fauzia, thanks uh we are we are keeping safe keeping the mask on and uh it's it's, it's a big area big place uh to keep That's our social note, distance as well it is dutch speaker there uh, lisbeth is dutch uh. she left already yeah is it yeah she saw the note anyway yeah <laughs> <laughs> basically he just say like he's from this area he passed by so our car is from the mm-hmm. same area uh what a coincidence something like that yeah yeah Okay, so um, any more questions? No more questions. And is everyone still watching? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, let's see if uh, Zen is still there. How do we know? Um, you see the green light? Oh, then you know who is still on. Um, really? And then she's gone off already. Oh, is it? Yeah. This was just now you to the top. She's gone already. Oh, yeah. like that. Uh? <coughs> yeah, the green uh, one. Okay. So, uh, unless uh, you have any more questions, we shall end the session. Uh, be keen to read uh, what Karen has uh, sent, uh, sent us a link. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. So, uh, thank you all for joining, joining us. It's, it's, it's very nice mm. because we hardly talk to people here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so stand, thank you, you and have a good Sunday. And bed, and stay and safe. Uh, we speak to you all another day. All right, ciao. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, good night, Singapore. Good night. Night, Singapore. Good night. Ciao. Uh, you'll be able to choose. And so that you.